Hey everyone, it's Wisdom. I make awesome stuff for everyone. Today we're gonna talk about the difference, the basic difference between the stimulated and spontaneous emission of radiation. We're also gonna discuss about the fact that why do we use stimulated emission of radiation in the process of producing a laser. Y'all already know that the laser stands for light amplification through stimulated emission of radiation. So, in this video, I'm gonna tell you that why do we use the stimulated emission of radiation and why not the spontaneous emission of radiation. Firstly, guys, let's talk about the spontaneous emission of radiation. As you all know already that when an electron comes from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, it releases a photon. So in this case, an electron is coming down to a lower energy level and it releases energy in the form of photons. This electron comes down on its own without any stimulation, therefore it is named as spontaneous. Now the main point that you're gonna remember is the photon released during spontaneous emission of radiation is in arbitrary direction, which means it can be in any direction. Therefore guys, in spontaneous emission of radiation, the photon released are always in the multi directions and not always in the same direction. In short, the photons released are multi-directional. Now we're gonna talk about stimulated emission of radiation and what's so special about it. In the process of stimulated emission of radiation, we give a photon which strikes an electron, due to which that electron is stimulated and comes down from a higher energy level to a lower energy level. Now here we all know that when an electron comes down from a high energy level to a lower energy level, a photon is released. Now here lies a main difference between the stimulated and spontaneous emission of radiation. The photon released as a result of stimulated emission of radiation is coherent and is unidirectional with the photon that we have given for the stimulation. This also means that we have fulfilled a condition of producing a laser. A laser light is coherent and unidirectional. So therefore we use stimulated emission of radiation for producing a laser light. So guys, this clears your confusion that why do we use stimulated emission of radiation instead of spontaneous emission of radiation. I again repeat for your convenience that for producing a laser light, we use stimulated emission of radiation because the photons released during this process are unidirectional and coherent with the photon that we have given in the first place to stimulate the electron. We cannot produce coherent and unidirectional photons if we use that spontaneous emission of radiation because in spontaneous emission of radiation the photon released are multi-directional and they are not unidirectional and they are also not coherent therefore spontaneous emission of radiation always fails if we are trying to produce a laser light because laser light is coherent and is unidirectional this all is so simple isn't it if there is any confusion, you can comment in the comment box below and let me know. Please like and subscribe for more awesome stuff.